Hello guys, version three tech here. I'm Damien bringing you a quick tutorial on how to root and unlock your Nexus 7 using your Mac. This is a manual process and as such you're gonna need the Android SDK installed. I'm not gonna tell you how to do that. You're gonna to need to go and work that one out yourself. There's plenty of guys on the internet, you'll find it all over the place. Once you've done that, you can come back and do this guide. There are some other prereqs, the first of which you're gonna need Android file transfer installed. I'll leave a link in the description for that. You're also gonna need CWM super user. I'll leave a link in the description for that. You also need CWM recovery, and I'll leave a uh, link in the description for that as well. So the first thing we need to do is if we, ne we need to navigate to the Android SDK folder. So right, let's go. What we need to do is open that. Mine's in my applications folder. Go into it, into platform tools, and then you need to copy the recovery image over, the .img file. And then what we're gonna to need to do is CD into this platform tools folder. We're gonna use that terminal, so open a terminal window, type CD. Now, once you've typed CD, the easiest way to do this, if you're not sure, is literally to undo the file again, right click, get info, copy and paste where, Look, you can see you can copy and paste that, copy and paste that, and paste it into the terminal window, enter, there you go, you're in platform tools. So we're now in platform tools, you can see it here. Next thing we need to do is we can shut this window now for the time being and this window. And next thing we're going to do is check our devices. So what we need to do is full stop, forward slash, oh, no forward slash, forward slash, ADB, devices, enter. There you go, shows you the device here. You can see it. That's the serial number in the device. Next thing we need to do is top forward slash ADB reboot bootloader. Spell bootloader correctly. Bam. And this will, what we'll do is nip across and I'll just show you on the, the Nexus 7. There you go. In the, this is the bootloader. This is what it should look like. Okay. So if we just go back to the terminal window and we're going to just check now by typing dot forward slash fastboot devices. There we go, look, that's our fastboot device. If you use ADB again, it won't work. You're gonna to need to use fastboot. So the next thing to do is dot forward slash fartboot, fastboot, fartboot, <laughs> OEM, unlock. All right, this is gonna unlock the device, all right? So we're just gonna switch quickly to the Nexus 7. This is what it's gonna look like. So use the power button to accept yes. This will, may void your warranty. And now this is the process. If you look right up on the top of the screen where my finger is flailing, you'll notice it's doing its thing, all right? So don't think it's not doing anything, it is doing something, okay? Now if you go back to the terminal window, you'll see it's done. You can see what it's done. It's erased everything, so we'll go back to the uh, Nexus 7 and you can just see it unlocked there. Right, so start dot forward slash ADB devices. This. I'm just checking to see if it's, we need to make sure it's not in ADB, it's back in fastboot, so dot four slash fastboot devices. There we go, there it is. Okay, so now what we're gonna to need to do is flash a recovery image. So we're gonna do that using dot forward slash fastboot, flash, recovery. Now you need to, if you want to make sure you wanna get this file absolutely spot on, just, Undo that file again, so go back to your platform tools. So if we navigate back, applications, Android, open this, Android SDK, platform tools, and there's the file. So you can double, you can right click to rename or just double, short double or long double click. Highlight the whole text, every last bit, copy it, and then literally just paste it in. Bam, that way you know you've got exactly the correct line of text. There you go, that's entered the recovery. So now we're gonna enter recovery by using the up arrows till you see recovery mode. Hit the power button, into recovery. 
It's take a little while to just to boot into recovery. But once we're in recovery, we need to do a few things here. Right, this is clockwork mod in the recovery. So what we're going to need to do is mount some storage first. Ignore all the errors at the bottom, they won't matter. So mount some storage, mount system. That's it. Now we need to go back to terminal. Then we're going to write a few commands here. So let's just do dot forward slash ADB devices to make sure that we've got a recovery device, which we have. And then we're going to need to ADB into the shell. And we're going to do that by dot forward slash ADB shell. There we go. We're in the sh we're in the sh we're on the device now. So CD into forward slash CD forward slash system into the system. Then we're going to type out um, a move command. So we're going to move some files around. This will stop the Android recovery or, or re flashing the the uh, recovery file. So recovery dash from dash boot dot p to recovery dash from dash boot make sure I'm spelling that correctly dot b a k enter done that is it that is done okay so let's just move on to the next step and that next step is to literally reboot the device so literally reboot the device hit the recovery let's do this thing this is going to take a little while so Give yourself some time, I don't know, whatever. After your device is rebooted, you're going to need to go into settings and USB debugging. Anyway, it's done. Here we go. And I've opened the Android file transfer. And now we're just going to copy that other file, the super user file over here. Literally just drag it in. Copied over, done and dusted. Easy. That bit was easy. Now, let's... Right, the next thing we're going to do is dot forward slash ADB, reboot, reboot, not reboot, reboot, recovery. Make sure you type in all these commands as I'm typing them on in the terminal. Hit enter. That should reboot our device into recovery. There we go, into recovery. Now we're going to install from SD card. Okay, install from internal SD card. So just SD card. It will load the files up here. There you go, find the super user file, install. There it goes, installs. Down and dusted. Go back and then reboot the device. Device reboots. You are done and dusted. You have a unlocked Nexus 7. You can see that by the padlock under the Google, unlocked. You also have root on the device. You just need to go into the device, reboot the device up and Make sure that uh, you um, update the binaries on SuperUser and you'll be ready to go. Thanks for watching. See you all again soon.